It's 633 with policing under the microscope. Officers across southeastern Wisconsin sharpen an important skill. Yeah, how to spot someone living with autism. Julia Fellow shows us how the first awareness training event in our area could save lives. Many times officers are called to scenes with little to no information. This event helped them understand down to the minute details how to tell when someone is not dangerous but living with this disorder. About 70 officers in southeastern Wisconsin learn people who are on the autism spectrum show their disorder in a number of ways. The deadliest danger that affects more than half of this vulnerable population is that they can wander off. The first place officers were told to check are nearby lakes or rivers to save lives. The executive director of the Autism Society of Southeastern Wisconsin applied for grant money to host this training event just last week. She explains there are different ways autism can present itself, especially when a person feels uncomfortable. So sometimes uh, people will talk to themselves and pace, or they might flap their hands. They showed us examples of the different stimming um, and some other behaviors such as talking to themselves and vocalizing. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they're a dangerous person. It just means that they may be trying to find their own comfort level. You heard Officer Kane with Wauwatosa Police use the term stimming that stands for self-simulatory behavior, a term the Autism Society wants you to understand. A person with autism is stimming when they repeat a movement to reduce their anxiety. The next effort is for surrounding police departments to create a voluntary registry with communities so that when a patrol call responds to an address, they know someone with autism lives there. In the newsroom, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.